assalamu alaikum and good morning to all of you how are you all i hope you all are fine and in good health and taking a lot of care of yourself your siblings and of course your parents as well students in the last lecture there was some problem with the voice so thanks for letting me know so i think most of you were facing so much difficulty in listening the lecture so that's why i have decided to record that lecture again for you so in our upcoming lecture which would be on monday i'll repeat that lecture number 7 with the better voice quality for you thank you now moving towards our lecture of today which is lecture number 8 okay now we are going to start our new lecture which is lecture number 8 of unit number 5 making sounds lecture 8 unit 5 making sounds so everybody please open your science textbook and write date and day on Okay so open your uh, science textbook and write date and day on page number 70 of your science textbook write class work date and day of today on page number 70 of science textbook Okay children now have a look what we have on this page the topic at the top is talking and listening of course if somebody is talking the other one is listening then we have name some of the sources of sound name some of the sources of sound yes children can you name some of the sources of sound yes think in your mind Yes, we have so many sources of sound, and do you know what type of sources of sound we have? Yes, we have two main sources of sound. Some are natural sources of sound, and some are man-made sources of sound. So the natural sources of sound are as animals; they are the natural source. Have you ever heard the sound of wind? yes it's also a natural source it is not man made source it's a natural source which is made by our allah not the people then we have flowing stream sound bird sounds these are all natural sources of sound and some we have the man made sources of sound that are so many Okay so what are those Yes as aeroplanes aeroplanes are made by people so it's a man made source helicopter sound road vehicle sound there are so many road vehicles as cars motorcycles cycles and then the trains train sound and you have something at your home the things from which you play those things also make the sound yes your toys you have so many toys which also make sounds as you have trains and some of your cars make sounds and I think most of the people, uh, uh, children, have pianos and the guitars, toy guitars and the toy pianos at their homes. They also make sound. So these are man-made sources. The big idea: we use our body to make sounds. Yes. Can you tell me how many sounds you can make with your body? i think you can make so many sounds with your body think in your mind okay how how you can make the sounds with your body first listen to me carefully 
what sound I'm making. Can you hear the sound? Which sound was that? Yes, I was clapping. I was making that sound with the help of my hands. Yes, I can. you can also whistle as see that man is whistling. What is the man doing? They have also asked the question that what is the man doing? So what you have to write in the white box? You have to write, yes, that man is whistling. So uh, children, write the spellings of whistling with me. W H I S T L I N G whistling. Everybody write whistling in that white box. W H I S T L I N G whistling. Okay. Why do you think people whistle? Why do you think people whistle? Look at that woman in the picture. Woman in the photo is the sports person. She is the sports person and she has a whistle in her mouth. So have you ever seen when they, whenever in a playground somebody is playing, there is one person standing with a whistle in the mouth. So she used to whistle at times either to stop the game, either to say something else. Why do you think people whistle? Some sports people whistle to get the attention of the other players. Yes, some sports people whistle to get the attention of the other players. Other people whistle because it is good fun. Yes, some people just whistle for the fun and some people whistle to get the attention of the other players. They whistle along the music as well. Investigation. What sounds can you make? Yes class, what sounds can you make? I think you can make a lot of sounds. Sometimes you laugh, sometimes you cry, you clap, you stamp your feet, you whistle and there's so many other sounds that you can make easily. You can sing, you can shout sometimes, which is not good. Make, number one, make lots of different sounds with your body. Yes, class. Can you make different sounds with your body? Hmm? Yes, I think you all can make so many sounds with your body. And some sounds we can make with our voice, but some sounds we cannot make with our voice. We don't need any voice to make that sound as if we want to clap. Do we require our voice? No. If we want to stamp our feet, there is no need of voice. So we can also communicate with the help of other sounds in which there is no need of voice at all. Try to whistle. Pursue your lips together and then gently blow. Yes, you can whistle by blowing easily. Can you whistle a tune? Yes, we can also whistle a tune by whistling. Clap your hands together. Now listen, I am going to clap for you and I will make different sounds by clapping. Listen carefully. Was that loud or soft? Now I am making one more sound with my clapping. Was that different from the other one? So let's think. You also clap with me. Okay class? Clap. Clap louder. Now clap softly. So that's the way we can make different sounds by clapping as well. Now class, let's move towards our next page of the textbook. That is page number 71. 
Okay, class, uh, open page number 71 of your science textbook and write date and day on that page. Page 71 and write classwork date and day on that page. Okay, class, let's see what we have on this page. Let's start it from the very top. They are asking some questions. What happens when you clap hard? Clap hard everyone. Okay, when we clap hard, you make a loud sound, you made a loud sound or a quiet sound. Yes, you made a loud sound. What happens when you clap gently? Everybody please clap gently. Yes, when you clap gently, you make a quiet sound. Clapping hard makes a loud sound. Clapping gently makes a quiet sound. Listen to the clapping rhythm your teacher makes. Can you copy it? As I have told you in the last page, in the previous page, when you clap with different rhythm, the sound would be different. When can you use a clapping sound? When we used to clap? When we are happy or when we are sad? Yes, when we are very much happy, we started clapping as if we saw something very good at the end of any movie which we like we used to clap and mostly we clap on the birthday because we are happy we used to clap so when something makes you happy what will you write in this line write with me when can you use a clapping sound when Something makes you happy. Write please when W H E N. When something S O M E some T H I N G thing. When something makes M A K E S makes you Y O U you happy H A double P Y happy when something makes you happy guess what sounds these animals make write the sounds here now there are four animals in the picture and we have to write their sounds Class, have you ever listened the sound of an elephant? What sound does it make? Hmm? Can you say? Hmm, it makes a sound. Trumpet. Trumpet. T r a m p e t. Right here in the white box, the sound of the elephant is trumpet. T. R U M trumpet P E T pet trumpet T R U M P E T trumpet Please class write the sound of the elephant under the picture trumpet T R U M P E T trumpet Now look at picture number B. Which animal we have in picture number B? Yes, it's a cat. And we all know the sound of cat. It's so easy. What is the sound of cat? Meow. Yes, say with me everyone. Meow. Now write meow in the white box. What are the spellings of meow? 
N E O W. Write me out. M E O W. Meow. Okay, now which animal we have on C? Yes, we have a mouse. What is the sound of a mouse? Squeak, squeak, squeak. What sound does our mouse make? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Write the spellings of squeak. S Q U E A K. Squeak. S Q U E A K. Squeak. Everybody write. S Q U E a K squeak squeak now uh, at D picture we have yes we have a picture of a cow and what is the sound of a cow mmm mmm M double O mmm M double O mmm Write the sound of the cow here. Okay, now move towards our next page of today, which is page number 72. Okay, class, now open your textbook page number 72. And write classwork date and day on page number 72 of your textbook. Open page 72 of your science textbook and write date and day on that page. Okay, talking and listening. Name some of the sources of sound as we have already discussed the big idea. Some animals hear more sounds than humans. Do you know that most of the animals have a very good sense of hearing? And they can hear more sounds which even we cannot hear. We are very good at listening to sounds and guessing what they are. Okay class. Are you very good at listening the sounds? Can you guess the sound if you uh, are not even seeing that what sound is it? Can you tell that what sound is it by closing your eyes also? Yes, because we have a very good listening. We can hear so many sounds and we can tell that what sound is that. List all the sounds that you can hear now. Okay, class. Now I am sitting somewhere else. Uh, if you are in, if you will be in the class, so we can hear the same sounds at times. But now you are at home, and I am sitting at my home. So we all are listening different sounds. So we will share our sounds with each other. I have written the sounds which. I can hear. So I am telling you that what sounds I am hearing right now and I have written those sounds in these lines. So I can hear table moving sound right now and I was also hearing bell ringing sound, talking, somebody is talking next to me and there is also a fan sound where I am sitting. So what sounds you are hearing right now? Can you share? Yes, please. Wherever you are sitting, listen. I close your eyes and listen all the sounds. Yes, I am also listening some more sounds. Please, you also listen some sounds with me and please write what sounds you are listening right now in these lines. 
Are you listening? Yes, I think everybody is listening. Close your eyes and try to listen all the sounds which you can listen right now. Okay. So which sounds you had you have listened right now? Hmm, so many sounds. I think fan or AC sound is everybody is listening right now. So please write the sounds which you are listening right now in these two lines we can measure how loud our sound is using a special machine it is called a sound level meter thus there is one machine which is called sound level meter we have a picture of that machine on page number 73 which is our next page of today and why we use that machine we use that machine to measure either the sound uh, is louder or either it is not that loud so in that machine we can measure the sound think about imagine how many sounds are there in the world is class try to imagine that how many sounds are there in the world there are so so many sounds in the world you can name so many sounds they, they, those are present in the world now at the end of that page there is a amazing fact i am going to share that amazing fact with you and there is a picture of one what thing is there it's a picture of a insect humans can only hear some sounds it's a picture of a moth moths can hear many more sounds than we can do you know one thing that we as a human we have a very amazing sense of hearing but insects have much better hearing than us so as you can see that moth is here the moths can hear many more sounds than we can yes some of the insects have much better sense of hearing than the humans now move towards the page number 73 now okay class now open page number 73 this is the last page of today and write date and day on page number 73 write date and day on page number 73 So you can see here at the top of the page there is a picture of a sound level meter. Yes, this is a sound level meter which we use to measure the different sounds. Either the sounds are louder, either they are not that loud. We can measure that from this sound level meter. This is the picture of a sound level meter. Uh, now class you can see I have cut some lines why I have cut those lines because these are the measures that we have to do we have to do in the school so unfortunately we are not happy that we are not coming to school so that activity was basically for the school so I have cut that activity uh, for right now because we are we cannot do this activity by sitting at home so please cut these lines as I have cut the lines you can cut these lines because we are not going to do these because it's investigation we used to do in the school go on a listening walk around the school predict where you will find the loudest sound but you can do this activity at home uh, you can go to your gar any garden near to your but it's more safe that you can stay at home and go outside uh, in, if you have a garden at home you can go there or even you can go at your garage and um, try to listen different sounds 
Use a sound level meter to measure the sound. Write your results in a table. Okay, did anyone hear anything you didn't? How many sounds did you hear? You can go outside with your uh, siblings and try to listen different sounds and then ask them that which sounds they have listened and which sounds you have listened. Okay, now move towards the next one. Sometimes we make a sound just because we like it. Yes. Mostly we make some sounds which we like to make as there are so many sounds we like to make and when we are happy or sometimes when we are not that happy we used to make those type of sounds. Music makes people happy. Mm, when you listen to music, do you feel happy? Yes, all of us uh, feel happy when we listen to music. They like to listen to it. Music makes people happy. They like to listen to it. How many musical instruments do you know? Yes, class. They are showing one musical, I know, two musical instruments in the picture. How many musical instruments do you know? Mm, I think you know so many musical instruments and you have some musical instruments at home as well which you would which you like which you really like to play. Now at the end we have the question what sounds can you make? with your body mm, very interesting question we have discussed this many times write four sounds what sounds can you make with your body there are so many sounds which we can make with our body and we have to write four here yes class what sound we can make with our body i have written four you can either write these four or you can write any other sounds which you can make with your body there are so many sounds which you can write as i have written clap clap talk sing and uh, yawn yes i've written clap talk sing yawn spellings of clap k o a C L A P clap then talk T A L K talk at number three we can write sing you can write any other sound S I N G sing S I N G sing and at number four i have written yawn y a w and when we are very sleepy we used to <gasps> yawn yes i'm yawning right now who else is yawning right now <laughs> okay so at the end we are writing yawn y a w n yawn write the four sounds number one is clap C L A P clap. Number two, talk. T A L K talk. Number three, sing. S I N G sing. And number four, yawn. W A well, sorry Y A W N yawn. So class, I hope you like the lecture and you have done all with me. Uh, write your day day very neatly and your work also this was all for today okay students take care of yourself and this was all for today thank you so much and do your work on time listen your lectures carefully and do listen the next lecture on Monday in uh, the lecture number seven, I'll repeat for you. Thank you, Allah Fez.